everybody. So guys, one of the most common questions I get is about what kind of cardio should I be doing? What's the best kind of cardio? In my opinion, there is no best cardio, but one of the most effective forms of cardio that I work with all of my clients and I literally tell them all to do is getting 10,000 steps a day. Most people can get 10,000 steps a day and it's actually one of the best ways that I have found to make sure that I'm getting my cardio in without actually hating it. So when I don't hate it, I'll do it more, it's more sustainable. I'm gonna actually be more successful in my whole cutting phase. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lose weight, trying to get shredded. Walking is by far one of my favorite things to do. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you get your 10,000 steps a day and these are gonna be my four tips to help you hit that magical 10,000 number every single day. Whatever you're tracking on, I personally use an Apple Watch, you can use a Fitbit, that's where I started. And bottom line, I literally have clients who have lost over 100 pounds just from walking. You are gonna be no different. Whether you're going from fat to fit or fit to shredded, walking can get you there. And I'm gonna share with you four tips that I have for you in order to increase your step count to hit that magical 10,000 number at the end of the day. Let's get to it. So everybody, first step, if you have a dog, or any kind of pet, it's going to be walk them. This is a fantastic way to get in a bunch more steps, keeps them happy, especially if you have an active dog. It's a great way to clear the clear the mind too and get him to take a big old fat chud in the grass, if he so pleases. Great way to get some vitamin D, get some steps in. Just since I have gotten my new dog, I have literally started to average just like 6,000, 7,000 steps without even trying just like super, super helpful because I'm going in and out all day, especially if you got a puppy. Tip number one, fantastic way to start getting some steps, hang with your buddy, and uh, it's just one of the best ways to do it, in my opinion, and it's effortless. I don't even think about it. I look down and I'm like, oh, I've got this many steps. It's like not even intentional. Yeah, yeah. Now, step number two is one of my all-time favorites, and I utilize this just about every day because I believe in one saying and one saying only, and that is, it's not about the access. It's about the egress. It's not about how you're getting there, it's about how you're getting out. So I'm gonna whip this bad boy around, I'm gonna give her a nice park, and I'm gonna tell you guys my absolute, one of my most underrated ways to get in more steps. So tip number two, is park farther away. So guys, parking far away is literally the most underrated way of getting in more steps. I'm not even thinking about it. I just parked so far away most of the time. This is not even close. When I go to Walmart, I'm all the way in the back possible space. This is because I can I can average about like 2,000 extra steps a day from doing this over and over and over. So I highly recommend you give that a try and watch what it will do for your steps. anticlimactic. This is my standing desk and I absolutely love this thing for being productive and for also getting in a few extra steps. To those of you who don't know, I'm an online weight loss coach. If you're interested in coaching, click that first link down below and submit your application for a discovery call or if you're interested in the program, the fat to fit blueprint is linked down below as well. Help you get lean, get shredded like yourself. But a standing desk is absolutely huge because when I'm doing my coaching calls and when I'm being productive, planning out videos like this, I can constantly be moving around and fidgeting and surprisingly, get a lot more steps than one may think. So great tip for trying to get more steps and being maximally productive. Is, is, is maximally a word? Maximum productivity? Ma I get max, if you want maximum productivity, mm. you're gonna wanna get a standing desk because you can move around, you can get a couple extra steps. You know what I'm saying? The little foot where Hi, how are you? But awesome way to get more steps, gotta do it, and I couldn't live without the standing desk now that I've had one. Let's get it. So the fourth and final tip that I have for you guys is the most obvious one, go on a walk. But when I say go on a walk, I don't necessarily mean go on like an hour and a half walk to get a 10,000 step walk in. To some people like me, like I, I like doing that in the morning. Like if I'm gonna go for a walk, I'm gonna go for like, 45 minutes to like an hour and a half. It's peaceful for me, I enjoy it, but great way to get in your steps is just literally by going on like a 15 minute walk four times a day. So that's exactly what we're about to do because I'm only at like 3,000 steps today and it's already like almost noon. So we gotta get cooking and I'm gonna get my first 15 minute walk session out of the way today. And we got places to be, we gotta get cooking.
So guys, one of my favorite ways to get in walks and enjoy my time is I love two things. One thing more than the other. So first thing's audiobooks. That's like, I like that one, but not quite as much as the second one. Audiobooks are a great way to just get in a ton of knowledge and practical knowledge is always good. Productivity, business advice, like personal development. Love those kinds of books. But my number one is podcasts. And if you don't know, I have a podcast myself with my mother called The Happy Grind Movement. It will be linked down below in the description. Be sure to check it out. We got some cool content. But yeah, our 15 minute walk is just about done. We're gonna get a few more in today and uh, we're also gonna hit a fat surfing session. So it's gonna be good. Buddy, you ready to go on the beach again? <laughs> you ready? Bud, what are you doing? You wanna go on the beach? See, I'm thirsty. You wanna go on the beach, bud? All right, everybody, me and Liam are getting ready to go hit the surf. We're here at Assateague State Park and we're gonna go get in the water. So on that note, I hope you learned some helpful tips that you maybe didn't already know, maybe you did, to get in some more steps every day and get you that lean physique that you're after. So we're gonna go shred some freaking gnar. You. Yeah. And this is our first time out this year and we're going to freeze our absolute dicks off. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And it's gonna be good. But the, the hard part isn't even being in the water, it's getting out of the water. So on that note, I appreciate every single one of you and I'm gonna leave you like I leave you every single video. Let's keep getting better together. Let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.